at TCU. Wesley Dean, Carla Fountain, Mark Resch, our officiating crew. UConn in their home gray. The opening tip is controlled. 56 points on the road. Kansas State answers back with a zone of their own. Stewart trying to find Morgan Tuck, and she does. UConn off the miss, the quick push to Kia Nurse. Gabby Williams on the follow. It's hard to the basket for an early eight points. Kia Nurse and Gabby Williams team up for the steal. Mariah Jefferson takes it the other way. For K-State, that ends a UConn run that went to 8-0. Tuck trying to start another one. And just bad passing, bad decisions. People running to the bad, wrong spot. But when you got defense like this. Williams with the finish in the foul. How about they, that strength? They are talented enough to make up for the mistakes they make. And hey, mistakes happen. What do you do when they do happen? Just go back, sit down your stance, steal the ball, and then finish while getting fouled. Tipped away by Collier and She'll find Williams. Williams. Williams with eight, Stewart with eight. So great till you get our <laughs> age. We may have new ones by then. Kinners to the basket. That's what she does so well. Yes. Just right to the hoop, her first two. T calling for it. Double team comes. She makes the dish to Gabby. Double They're figures for the second straight game, Meg. Such good passers and so unselfish. And Tuck is phenomenal at feeling the pressure and making the right decision. We'll take the show on the road to Kansas State. Tuck inside for two. And a turnover for UConn, knocked away by Mariah Jefferson, forcing another K-State turnover. Mariah does her patented move, slow. Then a little quicker, <laughs> and then too quick to catch. <laughs> 2 15 to go, second quarter. UConn on top of Kansas State here at the XL Center. Brianna Stewart trying to get into double figures. That won't stay down. But guess who? Gabby Williams. Gabby Williams cleans it up. 14 now for Gabby. 18 is her career high. On her way to her second double double. Samuelson, good little fake to get free to knock it down. Come in, shoot it too. They don't have to all be threes. Well, Gino mentioned that to Kareth as he was leaving the court at the end of the first half. Open three from Nurse. Finally, the Huskies make one from outside. Four on one. Don't have to work too much on the four on one break. It's gone by third quarter here at the XL Center. Broken up by Jefferson Stewart. The up quick to Mariah for the finish. Nurse looking inside. Morgan Tuck who finishes. Tuck uses her body so well to avoid the block shot. And what has that led to 25 UConn points? Block shot by Stewart. Another run out. Two on one. Kia Nurse with the finish. Yes. Rebound for Mariah Jefferson. Return to Stewart. Stewart finds the rhythm on the three. Knocks it down. 14 points now for Stewart. Stewart. Launching for three, she'll go right past 2,000. Right to 2,001. And the crowd here at the XL Center knows it. And the rebound for Stewart. Jefferson. Two more for Mariah. She has 12, six in the third quarter. And a timeout called by Kansas State. You don't see a lot of perfection the free throw line in college basketball these days, so you want to point it out. There's Gabby Williams. Jefferson got in the foul. You don't realize how strong that little body is. 
to get fouled like that while in the air and still finish is impressive. I believe they would call this Texas tough. <laughs> Collier getting set to check into the game for Gabby Williams playing with those four fouls. It's a good de decision by Stewart to pass it away because they're bumping her in there. You got open, it? Look, no, open look for Stewart after all that. Exactly. So don't force it because you're frustrated and you want to get him off your back. Pass the ball and move. Create another opportunity for yourself. This has four for K-State. Samuelson into the game. The feed to Brianna Stewart. 25 for Stewart. 17 in the second half. On her way down, turned the ball over. 18 turnovers now for K-State. Samuelson. Her finger seems to be okay. First three-pointer of Katie Lou Samuelson's career. It will not be her last. <laughs> we can guarantee that. 90 seconds to go here at the XL Center. K-State has continued to fight. Jeff Minnie's got to be happy with the way his club has fought here late in the game. Sanaya Chong's first points of the night. She knocks down the three. Off to Polito for three. Collier and the foul. These are the kinds of minutes that will help Collier and the other freshmen. How about, here's a sneaky good stat for Nafisa Collier. She's in the double figures with 10 rebounds tonight. Whoa, that is sneaky. He's going to sneak up on us, I, I tell think. Yeah, I didn't expect it. <laughs> Chong will run the offense. Out for Lawler. For three. <laughs> Maybe the largest ovation tonight. It always sounds like when she makes a basket that all of Ansonia <laughs> is either here no at Excel or at Gamble. And that will do it here at the XL. Now, UConn almost got to 100 for the second straight game. They will settle, I say settle, for 97.